Okay, Dan, this is where you will log in. The way to actually get here is you go to your website, lostearbuds.com, and then do slash WP for WordPress dash admin. And this will get you to your login. You hit enter. Now you are here. There's three attempts remaining. That's so no one else can come back into here and be trying to figure out how to log into here. After their three attempts, this will be blocked from being able to log into for a while. We will receive emails if anybody does try an attempt. But anyway, that's just for your safety. Anyway, but you will sign in to your account. You will receive your login information. So here's logging into your account with the log information that was given to you or will be given to you. Um, but then here over on this side, you will see that you can make posts. This is where we will be posting uh, news so that we can be creating news and information to make your site worthwhile. Here's media so that if you wanted to upload videos or things, you could upload them here. But you really don't have to utilize any of this. Pages, this would change up uh, some of the information that's on the pages. So I will show you this. Don't mess with it unless you really feel like, you know, say you want to change what's in your return policy. You would click on edit of the return policy. And here you see what it looks like at the return policy. So you could go and just actually change instead of 30 days, you want to change it to say 29 days. And then you just say update. We're not going to do that because we're going to keep it at 30 days. And then we would just update. Um, you make any real changes in here and it just changes what those pages are on the website. The real thing you're going to be going in and doing for right now is the products. Anytime that you have a product that will change, you can go in and you can edit the product just like I was showing you with the pages. We could go and change these blue uh, earbud earphone leather case. You can change what the name of it is. So say you want it just to say blue earphone leather case. You could change that. Take it back. Earbud. Um, say you want to change what this information is or you want to add another picture we I will be showing you I'm gonna recreate one so that you can see how to do all of these steps or you want to delete the picture you want to change what the featured picture is then you can remove this and then re-add a new one here uh, you want to change what the price is. Right now the price is here, but you want to change it to have a sell price. We could change and say that it's uh, $3.99. Um, the inventory it will keep track of. If you want to turn inventory off, you can check here. Keep inventory on for yourself. It will be here. You know, SKU number. You can change any of this. If you want to all of a sudden add shipping cost. Um, what category it's in would be right here. So right now it's an earphone case. Um, I've got some categories I need to take out of here because I had clicked on the wrong thing. I put some categories in here. The product tags right now is case, leather, earbud tips, pouch. If you want to, you just add a category right here. So your category, uh, you want to add, say, we're going to category blue. Add. Now we have the category blue. Um, if you want to look at others that have been in here, here's some other tags. So then instead of retyping them, you can click here and you can click the tags that have already been here. Um, so I wanted to show you just how to edit real quick, but it'll make sense how to edit once you see how to actually create a product. I'm not going to save anything I did. I'm just going to go out of here. So here's the products list so far there'll be more in here by the time you get in here but you're gonna create a new so I'm gonna walk you through as I make a new one alright so the next product I'm 
Let me look at the products to make sure if I'm working on this one or if I'm working on another one. Yes, I'm working on this one. All right, so I'm creating a new product. The product you called it was here. Bud replacement. Extra small. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose to fix our categories, but oh, I have to actually go look at your what categories this is supposed to be in. Okay, so your thing says that this is in single flange, but you can always come and change this. So you can just uncheck it, check it. All right, so you said the SKU number, you had it at 1004. I'm going to change this to be like what you had on your website, Black Airblood. Zang! Okay, sorry about that. All right, um, you said the price was regular eight ninety nine, and you do have this one at a sell price at five ninety nine. Now I want you to notice though, if I have this not checked, we cannot type in here. Okay, I can push, but nothing's working. I click here. Now you can five ninety nine. You can type in here. Okay. So next is you click on inventory because again you cannot put anything in here unless you have it. And if I look, you had in stock 499. So I'm just going to put it at the what the stock was at the time that we grabbed this information. Um, I already did the single fling. I will now add the image. Why am I not? There they are. All right. So here's where you upload, and it says that you can drag and drop. So you can take out of your folders. So here would be the images. And I can drag any image. I'm just going to grab, let's see. I'll grab this little, let me put it to where you can see it. I'm going to grab our little guy here. I'm going to grab him, and I'm going to drop him. Ta da. There he is. Of course, that's not what we're putting in there. But I wanted to show you how that's done. It's that easy. All right. But we want, oh, well, guess what? I'm going to need to drag and drop that anyway. I want your black earbuds. So I'm going to grab these drag and drop them and set those as the featured image. There they are now as the featured image. That is what will pop up and I'll show you on the page, but that'll pop up as the main using my hands, the main image that will come up on your uh, Lost Earbuds page. Now if you wanted to add an image into it such as, let me show you, let's go to your website And of course, all right, so we go into your website and we want to do, trying to remember which ones I have more than, no, it's the case. That was it. I got more than one image. Nope, I had another one in there. Okay, so here's the case, right? We got that blue case. So if I go and I click and I look at the case, Here's the main image, but here's the image we added. Now, I went and put that information on the side, and that looks kind of silly. So we'll go back, and I'll show you how to edit this to where it ends up going below, and it'll be down below the image and look smoother and cleaner. So we'll do that next. And we can change the size of the image. Maybe we don't want it full, but we want them to be able to click on it. I'll show you that as well. But we don't have any other images that we have for this. So I'm going to
go and grab the information. that you had on, I'm grabbing all of your information that you have out on eBay right now. So, copy. Now, I'm going to put this into visual so you can see I copied this. I'll show you, I'll bring this over. Straight from your eBay site. So I'm copying exactly what you have here. Now see, you see the size this is all what's going to be dragged over exactly the same way. But I'm going to show you how we can also then clean that up. So we go ahead and paste that. Now it's not going to look really good on the site. And all right. So We're going to put that left align, that moved that over. There's center, there's right align. I'm going to left align. And we want to change this to be bold. I need to end up adding some information here for you. Oh, nope, there it is. Okay. If you only get this first top line, I'm going to say there is a problem with this. If you only get this first top line and you don't have a second line, this is the kitchen sink. Okay, so you got the kitchen sink. There's without the kitchen sink. That's what they call that. So you'll see that show or hide the kitchen sink. Here is where you decide if it's going to be paragraph text, if it's going to be heading. See, if I took a heading, it's going to be large. We want to drop this down to about a heading three. That's a pretty good size, plus we've got it bold for the site. So the rest of the stuff wants to go accordingly to that. You don't want it to be too bulky. Too, you want the site to look good and all clean looking. So we're going to take these probably down to the paragraph. And if you want, it can be All right, here I'm going to change the color of the text. That goes to black. Now, it did not clean this out because I copied it. So I have to go into the coding, and sometimes you might need to contact me to do this if you don't understand. But now I will go into the coding, and I'll notice that I told it to do P. But it's keeping the span... Oh, size small is good. This extra large and extra extra large is showing up. All right. So we want. All right. So there's where I told it to be black, but it still has in here, and it wants it to be extra large. What we're going to do is we're going to take this out. We're going to go back and look at it. There we go. You will receive. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this up like we've done on some of the others. We're going to make this a list. Try that again. List. I want to put in the right place. Back to paragraph. But again, as you see, it did not take it because of what was already there. Color black right here. We need to take out this extra large. These spans here. Okay, so if we go back and look, there we are. Let's go ahead and make that. Or we see black. 
you're going to receive 10 pairs of extra small earbud tips. Now this says 20 pieces of extra, oh, okay, pairs. There we go. These tips come with the whole. All right, now it wants to keep that. We just turn it off there. I really. All should be one should be left aligned and should be paragraph. Turn off this fold, delete so it becomes a whole paragraph. Put the spacing where it needs to be when it finds the errors. Now, this still has not taken paragraph. So we shall go back into here, and as you see, it still wants to add these spans. So we just turn them off. Now I'm going to actually put that this is a P, because I want to make sure that this comes in as paragraph style. But we're going to turn off all these spans. And all these spans. Let me pause here while I click. Okay, so now I've gotten rid of the spans. So now I'm going to close the paragraph. Let's go back and like this. Okay, so now it's actually all fitting together. For some reason, see some funky spacing in here. So we're going to say that these are all compatible, but again, I'm probably going to see that these are all, yeah, extra large. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to clean all this up. And you don't need to. I'm going to make this one bold. But I'm going to clean this up. And you don't have to watch this one. So just, okay. Now, as you see, we now have everything clean. And the size wise out good. We have our featured image. We have all of our prices and inventory and information here. We have our product category. What we have not done yet is our product tags. Now, I was looking at your list, so I want to check to make sure I put which you have. Yep, it is. Make sure sometimes you have some tags already from your site. So, no. Okay, so we have no tags yet. So I'm going to. All right, let's see what tags we already have. I know that this was a single. So let's do flange. I'm going to do single flange. Hopefully, I'm saying these things right. Um, these, of course, are earbud. Oops, I don't have to write this. I can just I'm gonna add this one. I'm going to choose the earbud tips. Um, let's see, these sizes you said were the small, extra small. Extra small was the 4.5. All right, so I'm going to put extra small. I'm going to put 4.5 millimeters. Down, a scooter stand. Hold for four point five to six more scooter stand. So let's. Let's do 4.5, um, case, earbud, let's go ahead and add those, 
earbud, uh, or earphones, the replacements. Um, let's see what other silicone. Let's go ahead and add silicone. Um, let's do comfort. First of all. Uh, and we could even do things like this. We've got Sony, Sony, Audio, Technica, Panasonic, Zenoda, Ultimate, then School Candy, Sim. I don't know how to say that one. Oop, I misspelled that one. Sennheiser, Creative, Sharp, Ericsson, JBL, and Philips. And as you see, they all came in here. Um, pretty decent list there that'll capture those. All right, so now we have our product title, our categories, our product main image. If we wanted to put another, we could do this and then add it. Um, what we want it to say and how we want it to look. Um, this is bold italicized. If you highlight over it, you can see what it is. It'll show, it'll explain it, strike through. So it, it explains as you highlight, so you know what these things are. Um, shipping, if you had shipping, if you want it to be downloadable, you don't have any of those, but there's all the information. Now, we could just save the draft so that we could look at it later or hold it for later. We can go and preview it. So we could go here. It's going to pop up a new tab. But of course, our previewing ability is not there at this moment. So we can't preview it while I'm in testing mode. But if we publish it, then we can go see it. So we will go ahead and publish. And now I'm going to right click. Because if I just said view product, it would view it in this tab. I want to right click and I'm going to open this link in a new tab. So then I can actually go look at now the product that was created. Here's what we created. Here's a black butt earbud replacement. Here's the title, what we called it. And here's exactly what we wrote. Now, if you want more spacing, if you want to change some stuff up, you can always go back in and change up this look even more. Then, of course, all of this is already static into the site, but here's what you've got. So, let's say we said that we want to edit, because remember we looked at that case, and because I added that second image, we added the second image. Now, to add an image, let me go ahead and show you. We wanted to go... Okay, so let me go ahead and show you. First of all, let's clean this up. All I need to do is I have this right now set, but I can go edit this image or I can change the size. I'd like to make it a little bit smaller so it's not as large as the big one, but I put it at left align. So then the words were over here next to it. I'm going to turn that off. Now, as you see, the words jump down. I'm going to update that. Now I've got the words jumping down here below it. And I made the image smaller. Now, if I wanted to add an image, right here is click Add Media. If we click on that, we will see all of these images. So let's say that we want to add this little guy. We click on him. Now he's check marked. You could click, you could shift and click, and now I've got two check marks. I'm going to turn that one off and just keep that guy, okay? 
we will insert this into the post and there's our little guy now if we updated and then we go right click and view that product we'll go here and there's a little guy and there's our words but we want our words to kind of drop down below all this so here's our two images now this this image is clickable as you notice and it'll pop up but this one's not doing that so what our little guy did pops up in a new page and you're not going to get the same pop-up as you do with the big one but you could pop it up into a new page if you wanted we're going to now take our little guy you click on it now you can delete the image you have now I said this text was too far up all we have to do is just put a couple spaces in there go ahead and update what we did right click again to view the page and now here it is still probably need one more space don't we so here's the main image here's the secondary image and here's the text so again we'll just go back click one more update I'm just going to go back here and refresh and there we are now it's down here so that works so all it is is you're going to go into products if you want to add a category you would go to product categories and you would add one test press enter and now test showed up right here if you want to delete you would just come over here and you delete it say okay if you wanted to edit one say edit it shows up and now you could say you needed to capitalize it and you click update and there it is capitalized I'm actually going to delete some of these because I actually put the key tags into the categories so I was going to take those out all my lowercase ones here were all my oh and that one but if you want to add here if you want to delete something you added it's right here so you can add as many categories as you want as many products as you want fix any of the pages that you want to change just the wording if you need help in that please let me know because it can change up the looks when you've done something in there and the post to be able to add a post in there um, actually I think I have a post in here that we let's see yeah that needs to actually be deleted it's the one that just gets started with setting this whole thing up and there we are um, because I think I just put the press release yeah I put the press release in here about you being a top rated seller for eBay right here as a page so that's it that's all there is to it um, hopefully that all makes sense just go ahead and then log out to get yourself out and then log back in on the WP admin um, I will of course send you those links and you will be up and running to your success.